four years. It took them four years to get this far. But if they lose this one, they can't try for a title match for another year. It must be like being on the edge of a cliff. They're too neurotic right now to sleep at night and get the rest they need. Their anxiety makes them train from dawn to dusk. The vicious cycle won't let them in their, be in their best condition. Whenever they realize this, the anxiety returns. Yeah, dude, that shit is real as fuck. I love the immediate comic relief after he just is like, I don't know what to do about that. Farts walks away. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, there was another line somewhere. They substitute the words willpower and effort for lack of skill to pressure their pupils. Resulting in retinal detachment, brain damage, talented youths end up washing their futures down the drain. So real, dude. If you've known any, like, journeyman fighters, boxers, MMA, whatever, really it's true, man. There's something in American culture, especially, <clears throat> and perhaps in Japanese culture as well. I can't really speak for their culture, obviously, but it's like we think we're all superheroes or something. Like, we're in a freaking anime, you know? <laughs> this is what's cool about this episode, is it is fantasy, but they bring this element of realism into it in this episode with uh, showing Aoki and Kimura losing their fight and all this. Um... Yeah, man, like, 99% of boxers, man, fighters in general that I've met, you know, it's just like that guy says, like, they, they fuck themselves up, you know, they, they try and try and try, and they, they think that they can just keep, keep working themselves, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just not, it's like, I'm just not working hard enough, but the reality is, they don't, they don't have the skill, <clears throat> they might not have the God-given talent, they might not have, you know, they're missing something, you know, there's something that they can't help, basically. Something that effort and willpower, you know, they can't, can't really change, man, that's the reality sometimes. You know, we all think we can kind of just grind our way into success, but, uh, especially in the fighting world, it's not, not always true. Hard effort. It's, of course, necessary, but it's not always sufficient. And that's just the reality of the world, guys. <clears throat> I love that, uh, sorry, my throat's a little messed up. I love that in this episode, they freaking, uh, kind of talk about that. And you use Alki and Kimura, who are usually, uh, comic relief kind of characters. You kind of use them, uh, show their losses juxtaposed to Epo's victory. Uh... And can I show you, like, hey, this is what what it is in reality for, for most people that are in the sport. You know, they just get their asses kicked. You know, eventually, like that Russian trainer said, they, they break down by the time they're in their late 20s or so. Uh, they're, they're already ready to retire because they're just beat the fuck up, dude. <clears throat> I know many, again, I know many fighters who, who are just, you know, their bodies are ruined. Or their minds are ruined, even worse. That is the harsh reality, guys. The freaking full contact sports. Anyway, freaking love this show. Definitely check it out. Um, sorry if I spoiled anything. <laughs> I just wanted to nerd out real quick. Y'all take care. Peace out.